on a bench not to see action today that is suited up is Daryl Thomas. We have not mentioned that we have not seen Stu Robinson. Stu uh, suffered a very severe high groin injury during practice earlier in the week, and they felt it wise not to dress him today. But we think he'll be ready for Tuesday against Notre Dame. Dick Alexander with 17 points. A bright spot for Ohio in this game. 86-66 is the score. Second is off the front of the rim and drops through. Now Ohio has released the pressure. In a 2-3, underneath it goes to Thomas, up and in. Handles the ball for the first time and gets the points. Sixty-nine as Robert Tatum connects from outside. So Indiana will regroup now, probably take a little rest tomorrow. Hillman trap momentarily gets it to Smith. Back to Hillman. And then the Hoosiers will start to prepare sometime tomorrow for Notre Dame Tuesday. Baseline. And a foul. Lehman. With his third personal, we'll send Daryl Thomas to the charity stripe. And Indiana, with one more point, could slip over the 90 point mark. Two strong moves in a row by Daryl. He got the ball the first time, went right up for the layup, and there, a little better defense. He still tried to take it up. Look at the look at the arms there. He's lifted those weights over the summertime, and, and notice, you know, I can notice a difference just by looking at how much stronger the upper body is. Four freshmen and a sophomore in that lineup. There is a lean in and a foul. Pelkowski is guilty of his second personal. Let's look at it again. This time, I think Magnus did sort of lean into it a little. Yeah, see how it's coming out there. Alexander's just getting good position inside. And what uh, Magnus has to do, there you see Coach thinking about it, and he's either got to deny getting the ball in there, or once he gets it, he's got to be Uwe size to be able to uh, to block the shot away. But Ohio's just going to, has gone to him every time down the floor, and he's just kind of muscled his way either into the basket or at the free throw line. Alexander's good, husky young man at 6'7", very strong. And Danny Nee will have to rely on him, as well as Robert Tatum, for most of the offensive punch during this 84-85 season. Good aggressive defense by Ohio's Lehman. Into Brooks. And now with a minute 13 seconds remaining in the game, Cree Smith from the free throw line. Chased down by Hillman. And he's called for double dribble. Now that was a good, very, very good quick move by Joe Hillman. Just a little turnover before he laid it up off the glass. Outside it will go. Eddie Washington. 88-73, a 25-point margin, uh, or sorry, 15-point margin for Indiana with 46 seconds left in the game. Free Smith works it out of the corner. Daryl Thomas back to Hillman. And a block. We'll send Hillman back to the line. 35 seconds remaining. Washington with his first foul. You know, some of the crowds, almost 15,000, begin to move toward the exits. One of the things is three minutes of playing time is done for these kids. And we tend to forget about this as many times as we've been to Assembly Hall to play. Is these kids have never been here before with 15,000 kids, uh, 15,000 fans cheering for them. And, and it is a little awesome to come out here for the first time. These visiting teams experience it when they come here. But as a freshman, this happens to you. And this gives them a good chance to run up and down the floor and get used to this. Joe Hillman picks up his first foul. 90-73 with 22 seconds remaining. 
has not really been an exciting game. Uh, I, I think a lot of times we tend to view exciting games as close scoring games, but there hasn't really been a lot of outstanding play. Indiana's just outclassed Ohio all the way, and so the Hoosiers have been adjusting, working with lineups. Uh, Paul Kowski, thinking that Hillman was going to take the shot, turned toward the basket, and the ball was thrown away, but deflected by Ohio, so Indiana gets new life. Out to Cree Smith. Cree at 6-7, handling the ball as a guard. No good. Brooks tries to chase down. Good defense by Hillman. Two times, one second remaining, the buzzer sound. And that's the end of the game. The final score, Indiana 90, Ohio 73. We'll be back with the final word in just a minute. I think the bond between Tom and me was formed the night he was born. I remember promising myself 